Here's a quick demonstration showing a few differences of IronCAD's import capabilities, um, primarily due to its dual kernels and some of the repair options that follow. Uh, this to start off with, uh, we first will check to see which kernel we're using by default. We got two kernels that are Asus and Parasolid. Let's start off with Parasolid and just hit OK. And we're going to go ahead and import a file. And we're just going to go ahead and import a file from a location. And we're going to import an IGIS file. And we first want to go into our import options. And there's a few things that we want to make note here. Um, we have import data types that uh, you can make differences here for depending on what you're doing with the IGIS. If you're not going to use it for modification, just for reference, you can use, use things for importing it as reference geometry for the solids and surfaces so that you can refer to it, but you don't have to worry about any of the structure or anything else that's combined with it or makes your file system much larger. We can actually make it into a single lump to run a lot faster when you're doing just referencing data to build around it, for example. Uh, other options that you want to make note are these repair and simplify body and your tolerance. Uh, for example, you can adjust the tolerance settings to be tighter or lower here. Uh, during the import option, we'll just keep it as a 0.3 for now. And we'll go ahead and take our IGIS file and hit, go ahead and hit open. And you'll see that it's doing an import option. And as we started off with, we started with a parasolid file. And it's going to bring up a second dialog here saying that it's going to repair some of the data. So it's automatically doing some of the repair and stitching options on this data as it imports it and we'll be presented with a dialog here in a second to place the model. And we can just place it anywhere on the scene and we see our model here. And as we notice here, it actually automatically came in as a solid BREP lump with no modifications to the file or errors on the import. Um, noticing that it is a solid, you can go directly down to the, the direct face modification commands to go ahead and modify this. For example, when we want to extend this face out a little bit, we can go ahead and modify that directly. Uh, just by pushing and pulling on the face. Um, one thing to note about Parasolid, it is uh, it doesn't like things like uh, self-intersecting edges. So if you run a analysis or statistics on this data, you'll see that this data does have some information that's shown that there's an error or a body that's bad on this, which is this face highlight here. And we can actually open up that text file. If we go to the location here, we open up our text file, and it's basically telling that they're self-intersecting. Even though it has self-intersecting, it's not going to affect you if you're going to do direct modification or add model, uh, geometry to it, but you can easily fix those type of things inside of here. Uh, there's a variety of commands that you can use, uh, some of which are just your direct editing, like for an example, this case is basically it broke this blend down into two. We can select one of these guys and just go ahead and say match, select the other face there, and apply that. And what it'll do is go ahead and stitch those two together to make a single face out of that. And now if you go ahead and check your statistics, you'll see that there's no statistics or no uh, self-intersecting found in this model. So in this case, you know, Parasol did a very good job of importing this model and being able to actually use it right away. Or even if you need to stitch things together, you can use some of the direct modification commands or some of the sur surface commands like sew commands to sew a bunch of surfaces together or solidify surfaces into a solid and stitch them together at one command together. You can use things like that. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the difference would be if you were on an ASIS-based system. Uh, it can also, it, again, can depend on a lot of your tolerance settings. For example, in this case, we're going to do a really uh, loose tolerance on this. We're still at 0.3 for our import options for our tolerance, but we'll leave everything else the same. And we'll go ahead and import this under the ASIS kernel. And again, we'll be presented with a dialog here to place this in just a second. And you can see that there's a little bit of a difference here. This came in as an assembly. And if we expand that, you'll notice it came in actually a bunch of different surfaces here. So it actually wasn't able to stitch that together as a solid under ASUS. Um, so let's go ahead and just take these surfaces and select them. And we'll use this command to solidify or sol or so either one will do similar in this case. We'll go ahead and sol uh, solidify this into a, a watertight solid. And we'll just go ahead and use a smaller tolerance again, 0.3 to, to stitch this. Go ahead and hit OK, and we'll give it a second to go ahead and operate that. And we'll see that we go ahead and stitch that together. And notice now this is a solid again with a single shape underneath there. You saw some of these edges disappear because it's now stitched together as a solid. And if we run the statistics on this guy, same as we did as we did for the parasolid, in this case this one doesn't have any issues with the self-intersecting. It's just a little bit of a difference of how ACES and parasolid handle those. Uh, self intersectings, but still you can go down to these faces again, turn on our tri ball to do a direct modification, make a modification to it, go ahead and apply that. 
and we can still do the direct modification on that as well. So basically just kind of showing you a few differences on the imports that you know having both kernel options do give you a few differences on importing whether you know whether the file, file can actually stitch together as a solid on import itself and then once you have the model in you can do similar commands on either kernel to do various of uh, repair options whether you're using you know some of the oops sorry under the surface you can use some of the solidified and so commands that even get into the the patching of surfaces filling it you know creating fillet surfaces trimming and various other commands to to repair your model if it's necessary i uh, hope this is informative thank you